Hello students and welcome back in the third assignment of biology for class 6. In the previous assignment, I have taught you about the two types of leaves. One is simple leaf and the other one is compound leaf. Now in this session, I am going to teach you two new terms. One is venation and the other one is phyllotoxy. So first we see that what is venation. Now this term venation is present in the leaf. See what is venation? The arrangement of veins and veinlets on the leaf plate is called venation. Now I'll show you the diagram of a leaf. In this diagram you can see the small veins and when these veins are present inside the leaves and they are distributed in the form of a network these are these lines are known as veinlets right and these veins and veinlets the arrangement of these veinlets and veinlets are known as venation now venation is of two types one is reticulate venation and the other one is parallel venation now, reticulate venation when the veins and veinlets are irregularly distributed forming a network it is called reticulate venation so you have seen the veins and when these veins they are uh, they are present inside the leaves in an irregular manner and they are forming a kind of a network inside the leaf and uh, this type of venation is known as reticulate venation and this kind of venation we can see in the leaves of mango banyan and mustard you can see the diagram of the leaves having the reticulate venation so have you understood what is reticulate venation now we study the second kind of venation and that is known as parallel venation when veins run parallel to each other from base to apex in the leaf plate it is called parallel venation now leaves of wheat palm banana rice and maize have parallel venation i'll show you the diagram of parallel venation so that you can see that what kind of venation is known as parallel venation here is the diagram of parallel venation you can see that this is the leaf base and this is the leaf apex and the veins that are present on this leaf is in the parallel direction. So this kind of uh, venation is known as parallel venation. Now we come to the next part of the assignment that is arrangement of leaves. So the arrangement of the leaves on the stem or branch is called phyllotoxy. As this term is new for you all, so you have to learn it that the arrangement of the leaves on stem or branch is called phyllotoxy. Now the leaves are arranged in a way that they get maximum sunlight. Now all the leaves that are present on the plant they are arranged in such a way that they get maximum sunlight so that they can prepare the food for the whole plant. Now leaves may be arranged in the following patterns one is alternate arrangement second is opposite arrangement and the third one is rolled arrangement now if you have seen the plants you have seen that the leaves of those plants they are present in any of the type of these three arrangement now we see what is alternate arrangement when one leaf is present at a node that is opposite to the previous leaf the leaves are arranged at a definite gap around the stem. Now you can see the picture of the alternate arrangement. In this you can see the leaves that are present opposite sides and these leaves are arranged at a definite gap. There is a gap, there is a definite gap in between those leaves and this kind of arrangement is known as alternate arrangement. An example of alternate arrangement is mustard leaf and sunflower leaf. Now we study the next kind of arrangement that is opposite arrangement. So when two leaves develop at a node lying opposite to each other. 
you can see the picture of opposite arrangement in in this there are two leaves which are present opposite to each other so this kind of arrangement of leaf is known as opposite arrangement and this we can see in the leaves of tulsi and guava now the next and the third type of arrangement is known as rolled arrangement when more than two leaves develop at each node and are arranged in a circular example nerium and oleander you can see the picture of a rolled arrangement in this you can see that from one node there are more than one or two leaves and they all are present in a circular direction forming a circular direction so this kind of leaf arrangement is known as rolled arrangement and this you can see in the plant of nerium and oleander so with this we have completed our third assignment now on the base of this third assignment i am going to ask few questions from you and you have to write these questions and answers in your copy now the first question is define venation second is name the two types of venation third give difference between reticulate and parallel venation with their examples fourth define phyllotoxy fifth give two examples of each in this first is alternate arrangement second opposite arrangement and third is rolled arrangement with this uh, this session is complete and soon i upload the next assignment for you all thank you